AJ, do the interior to the mansion. AJ, do the interior to the mansion. <laughs> hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build a City. Um, episode 126, 7? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot to look. I'm sorry, guys. It's been like, I don't know. Five episodes this week, I haven't been able to tell you what the number is. I do know after when the video goes out, because obviously I have to title it. But at the time of recording this, I have absolutely no idea. Back on another episode of Let's Build a City. And you guys have been nagging me and nagging me and nagging me to at least start the interior on here. Now, I've had a bit of a think about it. I popped in here. I haven't done anything on the inside, but I have had a think about what we want to do. So, let's just get uh, a block. What block would be nice for the walls in here? A wool colour? Like a, hmm, like a grey for the walls on the inside. I know it's a little bit dull, but most, most walls are like magnolia or white or something like that. Let's just start off with grey for now. Because obviously the floor's got to be raised up one block anyway. But over here, this see these uh, birch wood? There's one up there and there's one up there. And that would be the perfect place to have a circular uh, staircase that goes up one on each side so it's going to be two staircases because this is a mansion I think two staircases would be nice one there and one there that takes you up to the second level right so that'll be uh, sort of um, well mm, yeah we'll probably take up that window as well with it so that'll be like this something along the lines of that okay and the staircase will go in there and go up to the next floor and then this room here, because we've got a nice flat wall, we can, if we wanted to, we could put a little, uh, a fake fireplace in there. Because there's no chimneys on the outside of this house, uh, it would have to be like a, an electric furnace, an electric fire, uh, which are really, really nice, really, really warm. So we could have like a little one of those with a nice big TV above it, because this is going to be the lounge. And the lounge is going to be a bit of a funky shape. I'm thinking something along the lines of that. Okay, for the lounge. Okay, so we've got the stairs in there, and the lounge there, which then leaves us this room here. I have I've had a little tiny thing about this. I haven't thought about it too much, but I'm ju I just went through some ideas very quickly in my head. This would be the dining room, nice and close to the lounge, somewhere nice to have a meal. Got some nice windows there. It's a nice sized room for a dining room, and then down here will be the ground floor uh, bathroom. We could probably, in fact take that down like that in fact have a nice hallway going through there bathroom door there in fact this dining room we could have oops it's like double doors like that like archways but two archways into that that'd be awesome oh getting excited about this stuff i'm not a fan of interiors but once i get started on one i really do enjoy it so we're gonna have a nice hallway down the middle here. I'm thinking like some uh, a couple of pillars maybe if we can fit them in small pillars like one block wide pillars. We might even make them thinner and use cobblestone walls. I'll put them there for now, okay. And then on this side again, we've got a staircase that's gonna be in here. How did I do that on the other side of this? On that, on the quartz and on the wood. So there's on the wood and on the quartz. Beautiful. So there's gonna be another. That's in line with this one. Just get it in line. So another staircase goes up there, and then in this one, well, I'm thinking in this one, if we just do a straight shot along here, we're going to have a nice library. I don't know where the door is yet, so we'll put the door in later. But a nice library on there, again, with another electric fireplace, some bookshelves, uh, and stuff like that. And then along here, uh, let's get it, well, we could probably get it in line with this one. So we'll go down there down here for the hallway right and then we leave the three blocks sorry about how dark it is in here but three blocks in the middle for the hallway that goes down that joins up there and then this one here is going to be the kitchen so a nice large kitchen again I don't know where the door is going to be yet and then this one here we've got a little tiny room left over for a study I think a nice little study there with a little desk a little computer in maybe a little uh, filing cabinet or something like that so let me put the doors in here. Let's try and sort of mimic the doors if we can. So we'll have a door in there for the study. And then this is the kitchen again. We could go with these big, nice double doors. Is that bigger than the lounge? It is. That goes to the quartz blocks. 
you know, let's do that. What court block was it? Let's try and get him symmetrical. The end quartz block, this one. If we have this going down here, and then we've got that bit there, put that back. That would be nice. So then the kitchen and the dining room are the same size with the same double doors. The study and the bathroom are the same size with the doors sort of mirrored. And then we've got the stairs and the stairs, the lounge on that side, and a nice um, library down there. So that would be the ground floor layout. And now with this floor, the second floor, you would come up the stairs. So let's just mark out this will be the ground level. So that'll be there and, oops, up a block. And there, right? That's where the stairs come up. And we've got one porch here. That goes to a, a very nice, a very big porch, in fact, on the side here. So we're going to have one bedroom on this side. Same on this side, mirrored, yeah, with the stairs there. So put the stairs in very, very quickly. Uh, this level here. Uh, quartz, isn't it? Quartz. And wood. Are we on the wrong level? Huh? Uh, yeah, wrong level. Take that away. Put that there. Yeah, that's better. So, yeah, stairs go up. Bedroom on the side here. For the bedroom, do we do a nice straight shot? I think so. I think if we have a nice straight wall going all the way along here, that's a lovely sized bedroom though, isn't it? Big, nice double bed in there, or double bed there. Another electric fireplace, maybe. Beautiful, beautiful. What a wonderful house to live in, wouldn't it? I would so enjoy it. Okay, so then we've got the two bedrooms on the side. And we can even put in um, uh, what are they called ensuite bathrooms as well. So we could have like the bed somewhere and then have these windows on the front. It's ensuite. So both of those bedrooms will have their own bathrooms. And then we need a nice area to walk down. So if we came out from the door here, if we came out the three blocks, one, two, three, hallway, right? And then that wall's going to be there. We could fit in. Hmm. You know what? If we go out here, one minute, guys. I'm ideas are flowing through my head at the moment. It's it's difficult to talk and sort of go. Oh yeah, that would look nice at the same time. So yeah. So that comes down there like that, and we've got a nice big area here to walk out onto the front porch. Very nice big front uh, balcony, and onto the very nice big back balcony as well. We can put some um, some tables, some chairs, like uh, another study. Maybe even make this into a bar area. It would be a brilliant bar area, in fact, wouldn't it? You could have a bar in here, have some seats, have a, uh, a little jukebox and stuff like that to play some tunes. And then you can come outside on a nice sunny day and have your, your beers and your drinks out here. Look at that. I didn't see that. Let's uh, fix that problem. There. Oh, I've got one on that side. There we go. I got it right. Right. And then that leaves us this to come down here you know we might have to I think I'll be more comfortable with a four wide walkway along this one and that gives us another huge nice sized bedroom there and one here so now we've got uh, we might even put on suites on here but we have a minimum of four bedrooms and three bathrooms including the one downstairs but then we also need to get up to this third story this house is a third story we can take this away this doesn't need to be here. Same as this bit here doesn't need to be there. Okay. And then this will be the, the, the ground floor level on this top floor. But we need a way how to get up here. We could put a circular staircase in the middle there. But we wanted the bar there. Is there anything else? We can't have the circular staircase continue up. Because as the house comes in, uh, it's going to take up that space. So. Hmm. Hmm. What do you guys think? We could have a, a normal staircase that runs up the middle here. If I just put some blocks down to uh, give you an idea. We could have a staircase. We'd have to get rid of the bar. But we could have a staircase that comes up like this. Doesn't give us a lot of room to walk. But we could move it back um, one block really. So we could do it like that and have a staircase up to the top floor. But uh, hmm. How else? Where else could we put a staircase? There's not many places. I, aha! Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. Who says that this second floor needs to be completely symmetrical? If I said symmetrical, then 
Oh, that ain't a word. Symmetric isn't a word, is it? Night time. Uh, but we could take away a little bit of room from this bedroom, okay? And instead have the stairs in here. So you walk in here, go up the stairs. That gives us a load of room for the staircase and the bar. This can be like a spare bedroom. It's a slightly smaller bedroom. Still a still a bigger bedroom than most of the bedrooms that I've ever done. Uh, but a nice, nice sized bedroom there. Yeah, and then we only need one staircase up to this top floor. And on this top floor, we can have... Well, the floor level's on this level. No, floor level's one below it. Let's do it on the floor level so we don't get confused. We've done the other two floors on floor level. I'm going to have to sleep this night away as well. I know it's very dark for you guys. So I do apologise if it is a little bit too dark. But I don't want to be placing down glowstone lights just to uh, delete them later on. But let's have this. Because I know a lot of you are actually building this house uh, at home on your own consoles. So I wanted to give you guys the plan of the house uh, instead of just doing it. But on this top floor, we could have... That's a nice amount of room. If we have something along the lines... Well, let's get it in line with the staircase, right? One more. Like this. And down to here. I'm thinking games room up here. If we've got enough room. Well, we could actually give ourselves more room, couldn't we? If we go from there instead. And now we can get... A snooker table or pool table in here nicely. We have a, a, a small a poker table. Blah, my voice. Poker table, a poker table, pool table, maybe even a poker table. Why not? I've never built a poker table before. Uh, so maybe some arcade machines and stuff like that. It's a bit of a student house, isn't it? Really, student mansion, young person's mansion. Looks like a young person's mansion from the outside, doesn't it? So, so the staircase is going to come up there. Um, hmm, this is actually going to take up a lot of that space that place isn't it we'd probably have to come down a few blocks like this funky shape built funky shaped room yeah like that we can still get a pool table in there arcade machines down this side um, and some sofas maybe down that side a little TV on this wall when this is gonna be a wall we could have a sofa here TV there yes yeah, so there's a little games room there and then I think this one at the front of the house could either be a bedroom or another study Maybe, um, well, we could have a bedroom on the front and the back, couldn't we, if we really wanted to? So, well, we need a space to get into the, we need a space to get into the games room, don't we? Okay, okay, so we'll have, this can be a room, either a study or a bedroom, I haven't decided yet. Let's get it in line with the other side, whoops. So that's going to come out like that. So this can either be a study or a nice sized bedroom, good sized bedroom. We have the door to the games room. Down here, we're gonna have to move the t maybe we can put the TV on this wall. And so, obviously, you walk past it and round like that. I like that. Got enough room on here for an ensuite bathroom as well if we wanted to. We're gonna have to leave this open so we can get into the games room. So, let's, um, I like a funky shaped room really, I think. Uh, let's go over one more block though. Take that away. Bring this back. Wonderful. We get into this bedroom like that, I think. Nicely in the middle, lined up with the middle of those two windows there. And then we've got this huge space here. Big old space now. That we can fit maybe a couple more bedrooms in. So if we have this one coming down here, splash me. This one coming down here. That's a, definitely uh, a nice size, nice small bedroom. Like maybe this can be a guest bedroom with a small ensuite. And same as this side. Wonderful. And we could even... Make one of the rooms a little bit bigger by doing this. Oops, come on, come on. Like that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Guest bedroom with ensuite. Another bedroom with a possible ensuite. Another bedroom. Games room. We have this as like a little study area as well up here. Second floor, let's just go through it again. Bedroom with ensuite. Bedroom with possible ensuite. Same on the other side. And then the ground floor. We've got the lounge, the dining room, uh, communal bathroom, hallway and en or entrance way, whatever you want to call it. I think Americans call it the lobby. And then we've got a study, uh, kitchen, and library. Absolutely wonderful. Can you believe that's taken us a quarter of an hour to do that? I needed a drink. Two seconds, guys. Uh, 
I've been talking too much today. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Quarter of an hour to work that out, but it's important to work that out before doing the rooms. Um, you, you definitely need to to do that for sure. So, while we're here, let's work out this lobby, the lobby area. Uh, seeing as though, I would usually do the lobby, and seeing as though it's a mansion in like a marbly floor, but it's not an old mansion, is it? It's not, it's not a traditional mansion, it's a modern, modern mansion with colours and balconies and really interesting looking. So I think a nice wood floor, maybe with some rugs. And the other reason why I don't want to use marble is because uh, it actually splits off and we don't want to have like a break in the marble as it goes to like a different a different material. So I'm thinking maybe a nice wood. Let's put some a glowstone down here just so we can see a little bit better. There we go. Wonderful. Um, hmm, yes. So what block? What block for a nice entrance? I'm, I'm still thinking oak wood. It looks varnished. It looks nice. Maybe with some another block in there to to accent it out a little bit. Ooh. Hmm. To. Yeah. Hmm. I was thinking about. Yeah. No. We're good. We're good. It's all good. I reckon. Free do. That. And then this. Okay. So it's like a like a, a walkway down there to those doors. Maybe even make it. I don't like that. Maybe like it like that, so it sort of sp splits up. That looks pretty cool. It would be interesting as well. Let's get a slab, bro. Right? It would be interesting to actually drop it down. But in this case, I don't think it'll work. I do like that in bedrooms, though. Uh, when you see a bedroom that is actually... Uh, we can use full blocks. Um, where, when the bedroom, like the bed is actually raised up on like a, a tiny little foundation. Like literally like... The bed is half a step up, half a slab up. They look really, really nice in the real world. And I very rarely do that in Minecraft. And I really should because it, it does look nice. So that's going to go down there. And obviously this wood would then continue on down. Seeing as though it's three blocks wide, if we wanted to, we could do something like this. Splitting up. That looks really nice, actually, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's like it, it's like a, a walkway, isn't it? Like a, like a roadway almost to walk around. Now, look how beautifully high these ceilings are. Hiccup. Oh man, these hiccups are bad. They've just started. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> no! Let's put these down. Ah, no fly. Let's just put these walls up just to show you how high this beautiful ceiling is. This grey is going to look really nice. Especially with some potential um, quartz coving going around it. In fact, we could do that. We could do that now. Before we get this quartz coving. I'm just trying to throw some ideas to you guys. Because we won't be doing the entirety. I know you guys are already hating me for it. But we're not going to be doing the entirety of this mansion interior on camera. This might be the only episode that we do on it. I might do another episode on the interior. But, I mean, there's like seven or eight bedrooms in this place. And God knows how many bathrooms. And bedrooms and bathrooms are so boring to build. Um, lounges and kitchens, I actually enjoy doing. That's sort of the main part of an interior that I really like, because we can do, we can always do kitchens and, and dining rooms differently, and, and lounges, but bedrooms and bathrooms, they all look the same, don't they? They're always the same. Uh, there's nothing really different that you can do with them. You know, you can put the beds in the different places, but in general, a bedroom consists of one bed, uh, some some wardrobes, maybe a table if you're lucky, uh, a cabinet, uh, maybe a little mirror. There's there's never much in bedrooms, you know. Maybe a TV if you're very lucky. Um, but there, there there isn't there isn't much you can do, and they're all same old, same old, very boring to do. So I don't want to take up episodes and episodes and episodes of doing the same thing. How cool is that? Oh my god, it's amazing. For the ceiling in here, I think a nice light wood. Seeing as though the ceiling of this room is going to also be the floor of the ground above, I think a nice light ceiling would suit for the um, room below. And a nice light coloured floor 
for the bar area, hey? Hey, we're thinking about it now. Now what you can do, if you want, and this is optional, but you can actually use slabs here. And if you use slabs, you would put them on the top half of the block, so like on this half. And there's, there's pros and cons, there you go. There's pros and cons for this. The pros are, is that the underneath here is actually half a block taller, so you get an even taller looking uh, ceiling. And believe me, that half a block can make a huge difference. It can make a building look a lot taller than it actually is. The con of it is you can't place doors on them. If I show you, the doors will break off in an upside down half slab, like that. Um, that's about the only con, really, but it, I don't know. In this case, I don't think we really need to do it. That looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Need to watch the time. We're good for time. We're fine for time. So, I also wanted some nice pillars in here, if possible, to sort of match, because we've got a lot of quartz on the outside, so why not match it on the inside? I think to hide this glowstone up, we can put that there, because that glowstone is for the uh, exterior lights. We can hide that up, and that looks sweet, doesn't it? I like that. Uh, if we do... Whoops. If we do this... Give me a second. Trust me, guys. Someone someone tweeted me a picture of like my little logo, and it said, um, like, in AJ we trust, because... Uh, well, it, yeah, in AJ we trust, because I was saying about um, how a building at the beginning looks terrible but then you need to give it a chance and let me work on it and it will end up looking okay. At least that's what I hope uh, it does. I hope it always turns out looking good. Uh, but <laughs> it just made me laugh in AJ We Trust. You know, this could be a, a new design that I've never done before. How about that? Trust me, guys. Give me a second. If I don't like it, I can always remove it. But it has the potential... It might make the ceiling look a little bit lower. Uh, that could be a downfall. But let's just go over here. You know, that's actually looking nice. That Take this glowstone away. I know it's dark. Let's put it on the floor. That was right in my vision. And one over here. Boop. But I, I, I actually really, really like that. And um, we can even put trapdoors in the middle here. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh. Oh, we're already getting to... See, when I, whenever you guys tell me that you want to, me to do an interior, I always think, ah, oh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not good at interiors. That's, the, that's my main problem. You know, I'm, I'm okay at exterior buildings, or at least I think I am, and you guys think I'm okay because you watch me. Uh, but interiors, I don't know because I haven't practiced them as much as outsides. I don't feel like I'm as good as at them. But that I really like. That is so interesting, definitely. It's made the walls look a realistic height now as well. I like that. Pillars. Pillars. I want I want pillars. I want one pillar there. That's a good height. Like that. And then one pillar here. Hopefully this won't make the room look smaller. It makes the room look smaller. Doesn't it? Okay. I wanted that there. <laughs> okay, we can't use quartz pillars. Our only hope is stone walls. Unless you guys can think of something else in the description below. Uh, let's put them here. Let's move them out a little bit. No, that's one block too far out. There. Let's put this up here. Put this up here. Okay. See, that doesn't look as bad. That looks like there's... um pillars there but it doesn't look outrageous and it still suits the theme because we've got them on the outside they're holding up not only the bottom floor but I think they're holding up yeah the second floor as well so that works it's not that that suits the whole building and we could even do it on that side if we wanted I don't think we need to in this case I think it's just nice there I want to get rid of this lighting let's get some proper lighting down here so we can put some plants in the corner here to help with lighting they're the perfect perfect spots for it like this, like this. Let's take these ones away so we know where things are bright enough and where we need to brighten things up. There and there. Let's put a nice, oh, beautiful, beautiful little bushes. Nice, A nice bit of greenery on the inside of houses. A lot of people forget. People don't put these bushes down, but they make such a difference. Okay, so we've got that. 
Definitely need some more lighting though in the middle here. And we have this beautiful top here where we have the potential to have a nice chandelier maybe. Uh, we've got one, two, many blocks over. If we take those away, like that. We've got some glowstone on us. Come on, I can't see it. I can't see it. Where is it? Wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> I got it. It's fine, guys. I, I nailed it. Uh, we can do that. You know, that might just be big enough. And then if we put some glass around here, that'll make a, a nice sort of glassy-looking chandelier. Oh, beautiful. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, and I think that's bright enough in here. It's it's a nice moody lighting, isn't it? For for in here. Now, walls, nice paintings on the walls in here. I like that one. Yeah, I like that one. I want a that one, beautiful. I want another two wide one. Or possibly two single ones would be good. That would work just the same. Yep. And then you know what? I want to move that over one block, actually. Come on, nice two, two wide one. Two wide. Nope, 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 nope. Why can't we choose what painting we want? Why has that never been an option in the game? Uh, come on, one more. Nope. Screw you. Now do it. Ha ha. Yeah, I like that. So that's got some of them down. And I also want some little desks in here. Some little tables. And we've used spruce. We've used oak, and we've got birch at the top here. Jungle. Why not use some, ju oops, some jungle? So let's have a nice table there to there. That looks a little odd, doesn't it? Let's keep it in line with the painting then. There to... Come on. There, thank you. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Just as a little table in there. Um, And then I also want bookshelves in here. Because these always look nice. Oops. There. And there. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that. Let's have another table in here. It's a very, it's, it is a very symmetrical house. Place. Why won't you place there? What is wrong with that? Come on. There we go. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh, uh -huh. Now, we can't put... Because there's a painting there. We can't put a flower pot here, can we? Is that going to pop that painting off? Please don't pop the painting off. It's not. Oh, it's not going to pop it off. I learn something new every day. You guys didn't know that, did you? No way did you guys know that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. What else have we got the option to do in this room with? Well, these pillars. We could if we wanted to. Put that there. Ooh, that looks nice. That looks very nice. Yep. Oh, we're really, we're really getting somewhere. Uh, painting on the end here. Maybe a two by two painting, but uh, yeah, that's a size I wanted. But I don't think a scale. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. And then if we get some, will it allow us? Can we put carpet with a painting there? Uh, let's go with a nice grey. If we, whoops, string here. Can carpet go there? It can. Wonderful. Nice. Uh, Little table, uh, not all, not table, like a little shelf there underneath that painting. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Mm hmm. Trying to think of what else we can put in here. I mean, I like the room. I like the room. But maybe a little rug in the middle would really set it off. A grey, a black, and maybe this grey. So, something modern looking. Like this. Like this. That's a pretty modern looking mat. Well, it is very modern. I know a lot of people don't like this style of mat, but I really do. I think they look really nice. Yeah, that's nice. Can we put one? We can't put one there. We could put one there. Uh-huh. I like a nice little black rug there, there, and there. Yes. That's really set the room off. That's really helped the whole room. I would really like a little bit more colour, though. A little bit more colour in here. Maybe like a red somewhere. Or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Let's try this. If we took this away. Whoops. Uh, Grey wool. And red wool. 
and we put red wool down here. Ooh. Get down. <gasps> I love it. I love it. I really do. I like the trapdoor design. I do I done that trapdoor design on a, a few builds, but this is something that I've never done before. And it looks really nice. It's exactly what I wanted. Putting some colour. I think if we put some upside down quartz slabs like that and like that. Oh <gasps> doesn't that look lovely? What an interior, what a fabulous room. If this house continues on like this interior, I'm going to be so pleased. I truly, truly am. Definitely. I'm wondering if we can do anything on the roof there. I don't want to spoil it, though. I really don't want to spoil anything. Aha. 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 That could look good. Oh, made it even better. Okay, guys. While we're on a high, I'm going to leave it there because this looks amazing, I think. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you want me to continue next episode doing this interior after seeing this, then let me know in the uh, comment section below as well. Uh, we won't be doing all the bedrooms together. That's definite. I mean, there's no point doing that. But, I mean, the lounge, the kitchen, the dining room, uh, maybe one bathroom, I don't know, the library, potentially. It's a lot of bookshelves, a bit boring. Uh, oh, painting up there as well. Two wide one. Give me a two wide one. Two, uh, like one high but two long. Come on. Come on. One. Nope. 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 Come on. There. Nope. Nope. Ah! Ah, oh, that was a brilliant one. Okay, that'll do. Excellent. <laughs> we can leave it there. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!